Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Laura. And this morning, Pastor Nathan shared with us, God calls us to speak the truth in love. And speaking the truth in love has two portions to it. First, we need to know the truth. And that can be done by studying God's word. God's word is truth. God's word is his message to us about who he is and his plan for us. It helps us to live out our lives best. And uh, that can be tough to do, to know God's word. But we know the truth the more we study God's word. And then the second part is speaking the truth in love. And I don't know about you, I mean, knowing God's word and standing firm in the truth can be hard, but standing firm in that truth and communicating it in love can be even harder for me. I mean, I know that when I see that what I'm doing is right and somebody else is doing it wrong, I can become insufferable. That means I can become annoying or condescending or judgmental. And that's wrong. That's not how God wants us to speak the truth. It's kind of like this. Oh, um, speaking the truth in love, doing it in love, has to do with our motivation. Are we motivated by just trying to prove the other person wrong and break them? Or are we motivated to help the other person come into alignment with God's love and his truth? So it's kind of like this. Let's say that this table is the truth and this is a person and this is um, them living. This up here is them thinking wrong or living in a wrong way. And we can speak the truth to them without love, loud and clear. Hey, bozo, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, the truth is down here. Get down here, buddy. Oh, uh, how'd that work out? Not so great. I mean, they found out where truth is, but it broke them. They did not make it through that very easily. But if we speak the truth in love, we keep truth right where truth is, but we can speak in love. Hey, you know what? You are my friend and because you're my friend and I care about you, I've gotta let you know what you're doing, the choices you're making are wrong and you're gonna end up getting hurt if you keep doing that. And look at that. It doesn't break our friend and it still gets them to the truth. So if your parents say it's okay, go ahead and see different ways that you can create a care and love container. And as you're creating that, pray that God would help you to be firm and solid in knowing the truth, but to also present that truth in love. All right, guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.